Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the beast. Yes. You would expect a beast to be a little bit bigger than this. But we've let it out of the box, literally. The box is right there, right. over there. Beast so. is out of the box. Yes. And speaking of boxes, it comes in a box that's a carrying case, too. With all ultra micro planes, this thing does perform, and it performs really, really well. We've got to take a look at this here. Okay. Up front here, we have a Park 180 size brushless motor. Now, most of the uh, indoor, outdoor micro flyers are actually brush powered. This is brushless. So brushless. It's, it's far more efficient, far more power. Okay. So that's a good thing. All in all, great flyer, but there are a couple drawbacks, aren't there? Yeah. What do you want to talk about with the drawbacks? Well, these teeny tiny is light. It's light, and also, the Beast was actually a little bit fast for indoor flying. So really, outdoor flying in the backyard is all you really are gonna get out of it. The wind, though? Yes. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, the wind will knock it around and everything, light wing loading, a little bit of bumps, it just knocks it all over the place. Um, but it is a good flying airplane on calm days, and uh, it does all sorts of maneuvers, and uh, it is actually a good intermediate aerobatic plane, micro size. Yeah, but what Horizon Hobby has done is they had taken a few of those minor drawbacks and they said, let's make a solution. And then we have the Beast 3D. Yes. Which is actually what we're talking about today because they don't even make this It's anymore, discontinued. It's discontinued. Exactly. This guy, he is outdated. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. And, and what you said is absolutely right. Horizon basically saw the exceptional parts about the Beast. They saw the drawbacks, such as the fact that the wind could knock it around, the fact that it flew pretty fast, and also for 3D, it was very, very difficult to 3D. Okay. And they corrected that with... Uh, with a plethora of gyros. Yes, a plethora of... A plethora. Yeah. More specifically, the AS3X system. What, what the AS3X is actually uh, three gyros controlling your aileron, elevator, and rudder. Yeah. Which enables the plane to go beyond its point of stability and, and increases the envelope. Uh, so you can actually do high alpha, you can do harriers, you can do all these maneuvers that were very difficult with the other beast. But the other benefit for you, my friend, when you're flying on windier days, the uh, airplane itself is going to keep the attitude that you pointed to. So say you're flying nice and level across the sky, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about wind knocking you up and down, left and right. right. Stabilize the, it. Exactly. At the most you're going to see is it's going to be correcting, but it may be shimmying this way, but it's not going to change that direct attitude that you had on it. Okay. Which is phenomenal. That's great. And for 3D pilots, especially people getting into 3D like me, it's really wonderful because you can actually push the plane beyond its envelope and it really flies like a bigger airplane. It, it'll actually go past the stall speed and rather than the tip stalling when you go past the uh, critical point where the wing starts losing lift and you're flying on the motor, mm -hmm. the gyros will actually take the wing wag away and the pitch and the yaw sensitivity. So you put it in a, in a attitude, it'll stay in that attitude which is a really exceptional uh, value to have. And an amazing thing is it's done in a really, really tiny airplane. It's got so a good attitude. It has a very good attitude. What a so. nice beast. Now, with the three axis gyro, what it's gonna do is basically, if you have an outside force opposing on the wing, say pushing down, the aileron's gonna go um, and oppose that. Right. So if it pushes down, it's actually gonna give left correction mm -hmm. and, and push it back up. Yeah. Which is really nice. It does that without you having to control without you having to think about it. And the best part is it's all pre-programmed from the factory. You okay. don't have to do any setting or calibrations or anything. Oh, that's nice. Now, you probably noticed something right now, didn't you? That it made a little chirp noise. It made a little chirp noise, but when you when you touch the airplane, uh -huh. it's not doing anything, is it? That's not, because you gotta yeah. give it throttle first. Yes, yeah, so you gotta give it throttle activate. first. So go ahead and put it down here. Okay. Get it on a still flat surface. Everybody got the faces and fingers clear? The second you give throttle, not that. It. It's a wiki. It's a chirpy little thing, it's isn't it? Correcting, it's stabilizing, it's just gyrating it's going, all up in there. It's going all sorts of crazy. Yeah. But the nice thing is it may be noisy, but what it's doing is it's actually stabilizing the airplane for you. Mm -hmm. Now it's not gonna bring it back to level for you. So it's not a true like a uh, self-stabilizing like system. Kind of thing. Exactly. Okay. But what it is doing is it's taking everything that you don't want out of the picture. And we're gonna put this to the test right now, okay? Yeah, we're gonna try the different uh, the different two uh, versions with yes. and without the gyros and see how they compare because we do have a little bit of wind today. Yeah, so. we're gonna take the stock one and you're actually gonna be the starter, aren't you? You're yes. Gonna, you're gonna fly first. Yeah. And then we're gonna have you fly this guy and right. see what you feel. Okay. Okay? All right, let's try let's it. Let's do it. All right, it's a beautiful autumn day. Yeah, it's warm, but we do but have, windy. We do have to win, yeah. Yes. Uh, which is going to help our uh, our cause here, I think, a little bit. And what you're starting with is the original. This is the standard. Discontinued one, so if you like it too bad, you can't buy it. All right, so I'll just, uh, the wind's coming straight this way. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and toss you that All way. All right, ready? All right, I'm ready. Excellent, man. Thank you. Now, it's very touchy, and there is a lot of wind. 
Yes. It's not a lot of wind, but pretty moderate well, for this size. For, uh, for Ultra Micro, I think yeah. it's a lot of wind. You can definitely say that. And uh, this is not a beginner airplane. It's definitely a strong intermediate. Ooh. So the fact that you're keeping it in the air is really is good, man. That shows where you're at. Thank you, sir. And uh, you're flying a Ultra Micro in windy conditions, and uh, you're doing great. So good Thanks. job. How do the characteristics of the airplane seem? Uh, he seems uh, jovial. He seems, uh, you know, laid back. Wow. He seems uh, overall is it that optimistic. What, what does jovial mean? Um, I think it. That's a I big word. Know. It's a characteristic. Does it have though. to do with airplanes? No, it's okay, a human characteristic. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you bring it on back and see how it is to uh, to get it back to you? Okay. Then give it a shot. Well, it came back pretty easy that time. Yeah, it's because you're going across the way. Bring it in for a landing, Joshua. And it's a quick one, nice. and the front came off, but it's supposed yeah. to. Now it's easy to retrieve the battery. Yeah, so. Self-ejecting battery patch. Right? Yeah, exactly. See, I don't like to take a lot of time on landings. I want to get in quick. He, you know what? The truth is, he's actually really eager to try the AS3. Yeah, I that's really want to. Is, right. So this one's a little bit squirrely in the wind. It's hard, you know, to compensate in the wind. Yeah. In, in this kind of wind, anyway. Probably so going he's in. He's a little guy. Yeah, and in the wind is probably one kind of animal, and with the wind, it's a whole different story. Exactly. Actually. All right. Well, let's Absolutely. get the other one. Let's try it. Let's do it. Get a shot. Okay. Well, these guys take a bit of a uh, beating. Durable son of a gun, yeah. isn't it? He looks, he looks all right. Yeah. A little yeah. crinkly on the nose, but that's have okay. that. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay, folks. Okay. And here's our new one. Worst things have happened. The Beast AS3X, right there. Obviously, you can see different paint scheme. Mm -hmm. No more gold, no a lot gold. more silver, huh? Right. All right, go ahead and turn on your transmitter, brother. Okay. Now, so you guys know we're not cheating here. Uh, this plane is the exact same setup, or is binding to the exact same setup as what the previous one was. We didn't change the model names or anything. So no dialed up expos, no limited throws or anything. It's exactly um, what Josh was flying with the original Beast. I'm gonna go ahead and launch him into the wind. Even if it has the technology to stabilize, you still wanna take off into the wind and land into the wind. Okay. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. The one thing I noticed is you can see it kind of bobbling a little bit. Uh -huh. The wind probably wants to hit it. And right. what it's doing is it's actually correcting for that. The gyros are saying, no, no, no. No, no, not gonna happen, huh? No, you don't. Absolutely. Now, one cool thing about this technology is it's not self-leveling technology. It's not the uh, kind of system that brings the plane back to level or keeps you from crashing. What it does is it takes outside forces and takes them out of the picture. Also, if you bring the plane past the stall, rather than tip stalling and falling off where the original beast would have done that, what this does is it actually counteracts that with aileron elevator and rudder to keep the envelope as big as possible. So you can actually transition. If you look at the box on the original one, it says perfect for precision aerobatics. Well, this one is 3D, uh, which means now it can go into the high alpha stage. It can hover on its prop and the gyros are gonna help you keep it stable. It basically makes it fly like a really, really big airplane. So is it a trainer still? Absolutely not. But does it make your flying experience better? Absolutely, Absolutely. yes. Yes. Well, let's see, you, you landed the other one quite eventfully. Let's see how you do with this one. Okay. Oh, you gotta get home to the kids. <laughs> now that's good. Okay. He's upside down, but... Drastically different, and you still have your hatch. Yay! That's a good thing. All right. Yeah, these things are really durable, but you were really nice to it there. I was a little bit, yeah, more so. Amazing. So, give a synopsis, what do you think? Well, obviously, it tracks a lot better in the wind, for sure. I didn't feel the effects that I felt with the other one, with the uh, standard. We'll call it standard? Yeah. Okay. Discontinued one. Yeah. Mm, rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I didn't have to correct nearly as much, and it was great uh, to just handle in the wind. Yeah. It's good. And let's face it, in Ohio, you're going to have wind. Yes. So, yep. You want to try it? Thank you. I'd love to try it. Yeah, why don't you cool. give it a shot? Do some 3D <laughs> stuff. Let me check your pants, too. Yeah, let's get my pants nice and straight. You good? There you go. Yep. All right. Ready? Ready. All right. And the wind just picked up for you, too. Yeah, nice. I saw you coming. Look at the gyros yeah, just yeah, working away. Jiggling. Jiggle, jiggle. Lee. There's there's a knife edge hover, I guess you could say. <laughs> you wouldn't expect something that small to handle this well in the wind. No, but it does. You know what I like about it is the fact that it's uh, a better flying experience. It also opens up the time when you can fly. Normally, you'd have to wait till an evening when it's nice and calm. With this, you don't have to. You can see it just buffering that wind, just trying to fight it. That's pretty darn cool. All no. right, you want to see if your landing is going to be better than mine? Sure. I think I need to land. I'm almost out of battery. Not bad. How's that? Not bad. Pretty good? That was good. I like it. I like it a lot. 
It's you, cool. You can definitely see the difference between the two. I could never put it upside down that low to the ground because the wind hitting it, I just wouldn't have time to respond to that. Right. But those gyros in there are just counteracting that and keeping it so stable. Mm -hmm. I would never dream to try a, a low knife edge, low inverted, or low anything in windy weather. I just no. take it up a couple mistakes high, and the only time I let it get close to the ground is when I was going to land it. Right. So the fact that you can do that, it, it's just amazing. All right, well, I want to thank you guys for watching, and thanks Horizon Hobby for sponsoring this episode. And uh, yeah, pretty cool little beast, huh? Yeah, check it out. If you guys are looking for something like this, definitely pick it up. All right, well, check out our website, go to the forum and talk it up. Keep subscribing to our YouTube and channel. And share your stories too about it too. Absolutely. All right, you want to put a new battery in? I do. All right, see you next time.